excuse me. I had to let that one go. All right, Repcon Research Labs. We're gonna tell uh, Bright the good news, and maybe we can finally talk to him about that Chris guy. Cause I know eventually we get to, but apparently uh, not yet though. We'll see. I'm gonna turn my light on last. Oh, my light was on last time. That's why I thought it was very dark. This wasn't open last time, was it? No, it wasn't. I'm gonna steal stuff without even looking around because no one should be in here. This was not open last time, though. That's all I gotta say. I got some party hats in here. Very nice. Yeah, I think he's upstairs. He's upstairs in this one. Watch out, Boone. Hey. Hey. Should be up here. Oh, there he is. is the now he's too bright. Praise the Creator and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. All right, so now we're gonna go to the basement. He runs off, and this is where you can actually steal everything. We're gonna talk to Chris. Oh, he's he's running too. Everyone's running. So this is when I take my loot. So I told you, I told you guys before, just wait. Everyone fucking runs away and you can loot anything you want in this place without any consequences. So if you didn't loot anything before and you want to loot and you don't mind stealing because that's kind of like the, the big thing I do on this game, then go ahead and now's your chance to loot it. You got some mentats right there. Make sure you grab those. You got some scrap metal, some other shit. I don't. I never pick up scrap metal. I know a couple of people have told me you should pick up this and that and all this stuff to make this. And I'm just not even gonna worry about that because I'm never gonna use it. I don't think. I think it was like to make weapon repair kits or something. But uh, I'm, I like the. I usually repair what weapons with uh, weapons. And armor with armor, so that's kind of that's kind of how I how I roll on this game. We're gonna drop down. And that did not hurt me at all. I like. It's hard to tell on this game. Like I'm not this game in particular, but uh, I've been like I said in previous commentaries. I've been playing a few games, all different uh, game dynamic uh, dynamics and shit. So like in physics so like when I fall off some buildings and other games I live but then I'm like uh, I can't remember if I can live if I fall off here on this game stuff like that so I'm just uh oh look at this hey all right all right so I'm just a little bit iffy about this whole uh situation all right you can go back here and he's gonna have like a secret room back here that you actually this will take you to the place you need to go. Actually they already opened it. Look at these guys. These guys already opened it for us. How how fucking nice. Uh, a bunch of junk. I'm not even gonna go around looting through all that. So this is where the cherry bombs that I collected a while ago, I think this is where they come into play. We'll have to figure this out in a second. Hopefully, I know there's a lot of shit that you need to do, like your science needs to be high and stuff, and hopefully everything's high enough for me to do what I want to do. We'll have to see. Hopefully we got magazines if we don't, so we'll figure this out in a second. Alright, right. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Yes, the rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. 
that the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the great journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you, and Chris, to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your Redeemers both. Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that, were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Alright, so now we go talk to Chris, which, uh, where the hell is Chris? Is right there. Make sure you grab this. The helmet, at least. I don't think you need the spacesuit. I take it anyways. The helmet. Oh, I want the Mentats before I do anything. Uh, and the stim pack and the medics. Um, make sure there's nothing else in here. We got like an escape hatch to something that we can't use. So we can. Um, uh, I, I like to use this helmet I think. Let me look at it real fast. What? I thought I used to use it. Huh. Did they update this? I swear it has some kind of special thing. Maybe it was just the value was really high. Maybe that's why it was so special about it. I thought it was something really good. I had like I, I used to wear it over my first recon Barrett or beret. Sorry, I, I gotta stop saying Barrett. Um, beret. I, I've done that in the past, and um, I whatever I guess. Guess we don't have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and talk to Chris. Hey, Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. I thought we were past all that smooth skin, but you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice then. Who should maintain the Vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell? No, make it Haversome. He likes machines. Haversome won't mind getting irradiated. Haversome won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. <laughs> Haversome won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversome. You're neurotic. Bald. You call this bald smooth skin? I'm a monster. A monster! <laughs> Alright, so I guess we don't have enough speech to, uh, to say this to him yet, so we'll go ahead and see what else we can do. Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain. And I believe in Jason. 